Well, I hope we have enough light. And yes, that light is working. I have had struggles right now. The past 15 minutes. Okay, so what we're going to do, hi everybody. What we're going to do is a chain pull. And this one is just like a string pull, but it's with a necklace chain. And I'm using these kinds. This kind of a chain right here, like a rope one. And um, I'm just not sure what you call that, a square box one? You know, I can't remember what they're called. I'm sure you all know. So, what I will be doing is I'll just show you under here right now. Because I won't be showing it to you all the time. Because I can't do it on top of the, the canvas. But I'll be dunking it in there. Very simple. And I'll be going like this. Okay, all the way, the whole rope. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to wipe my fingers. Then I'm going to do it again. Too tight, but very lightly. Okay. I don't want to ruin this canvas. It's going to be with white on it. All right. So, and then I always have to have a little towel or something handy because you're going to be wiping your chain off in between. Let's make sure we've got everything. Stop it. So let me go ahead and just pause this, guys. Okay. I hope it's recording. All right. So we'll get started with the white, the canvas. And I already made up two parts flow trowel, one part paint, and water as needed this. So, this is kind of a little bit on the runnier side than usual. Just a tad bit. Not a whole lot. Now, you don't have to have it that way. But you want to be able to take off as much on your canvas as possible. You do not want it thick. So that's the real important part because then your chain, I'm sure you even know, like if you had your string too, it will just soak right in like mud. And it seems to be working pretty good here. I made just enough. You gotta get it off anyway, as much as possible. Okay. So, you can see I'm still just tilting it, but my direction so I can see it. Have it thick. That's the trick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and cut my edges real quick.
Okay. So I did see something chunky in there. And then I go. I'll just keep on draining that a little bit more. And it real thin. Still dripping. Okay. That's good. Now I'm going to tilt it back because I don't want it all at that one end. Just kind of make it a little even. But that's real important to not have that thick. You get really good flowers if it's not thick. If it's thick, it's just not going to work right. Now let me just check my camera and make sure we're in the center there. Yep, okay. And it looks like I have a little something here. But there. Whatever that is, I have no idea. We got it out of there. Alright, here comes the fun part. Scoop my chair this way. When I get it straight, and I'm going to put my rag over here so I can wipe my fingers on it. That's one important part too: is making sure that your fingers are not full of paint. So now I'm doing that. What I showed you with the string, wiping it off once. If you're going to make a big flower, do the whole string. That's one of my big faults all the time. It's not getting the whole string. Now I'm wiping my fingers. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to stop that from wiggling. I think I, got, I need to have my hands down here more. Try to get the center. I like this rope one. It goes on a lot easier than those other ones because they kind of get linked up. And then they get, how did I run out of chain? Wow, that's really strange. Okay. I think I'm center. So, I'm just going to make sure it's all down, yep. And I'm going to try to keep my fingers like this. So I stay in the center. I'll go like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take my rag and I'm going to pull that whole string through the rag. You know, cleaned it off through the rag. Dink it back, dunk it, dink it back into my black. Do the same thing I showed you in the beginning. Pull it up. My fingers very lightly. Do it again very lightly. Okay, and wipe your fingers off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the side ones. I think I want to get it way up here this time. No, 
if you smudge up a little bit, it's no big deal. I don't know why I didn't. I usually have more flowers here. That's okay because we can put some in there. So make sure it's all laying down. Yep. Hold my fingers there. And have fun pulling. Now I'm going to run it through my towel again. Clean it off because you don't want to dip your chain back into your white. Or in the black, putting white in there. fingers all the way down it, wipe my fingers off, run it down it again. Now wipe my fingers. Oh, there's a hair. What a bummer. It's actually starting to sell up a little bit. There's some cells popping up on there, which I'm not always happy about. On these, I don't like celly looking ones, but they're not bad. Boy, I made one one time and it was just like full of them. They just looked funny. They looked like hollow flowers, I think. I don't want them themselves. That's just me, particularly. here. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my small string now. Make little ones. So I'm going to wipe that chain off and I'm going to put this chain in water. Now I'm going to work with my smaller chain. Put it in the black. See? Cut that. Now I'm going to run my fingers on it again. Make sure you get it all the way down to the bottom of the chain because I will do that sometimes and run short. Oh, the end of my chain is not, doesn't have black on it. And I'm wiping my fingers. I'm going to try to get in the middle here, right here, so I can put two on the sides. So, I think I'm not going to go any taller than this. This is good. But I do want to stay in the middle because I want to put one on one side, one on the other. You can always overlap, too. Yep. Yeah that a lot of people make pretty ones overlapping. It's kind of kinky. I have to twist it. I just prefer those, those other ones by far. Okay, sometimes they're not laying down because they're kinky. Don't matter if they're pointy like that. I'm going to put my fingers in there. Keep it even. I barely 
see that one. It's okay though, that's pretty that way. Dainty. Do it again. Probably pulled off too much paint, that's what it was. I want this one to be different. Sorry guys, but there was something chunky on my chain. So it took me a second to get it off there. Okay. Wipe my fingers. If I could do it under the light of the camera, I would, but that's just not really possible. gonna get me a uh, a rope one for the small ones okay. that one is awful bright see it might be thick down there too. Do you know when they don't work out, you can go over it. Go over it again. But I like it. So I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm not going to pull off too much this time. Just very lightly. Putting it in my paint. Side. I just think it looks pretty with really small ones. I've made one like this already. Showed it to my group. Everybody seemed to like it a lot. also do some on the side. Maybe we'll use 
there's the other chain to the side. A little small one going down, you think? Hmm. No. This one turning inward now. It's fun. I can't draw anything like that, so it's the closest I come to <laughs> making a pretty picture. Or flowers and I usually do the poor painting you know abstracts and stuff so okay. there we go that's pretty let me look at it let me stand back and look I want to put some on the side it's a small I think I do. We'll just put some good, the small ones here. Always oh, remember to wipe your fingers off. See, that's why I wanted to do one right here with the big chain. But, yeah, we'll just keep it simple because we're recording. It sounds like my son is still awake. I live in Arizona and they've been out of school for the teacher walkout all week. Well, he was happy about it. And he has just been up every night playing his Xbox and stuff. And I can hear him in the bedroom there. You can hear the water bottle crinkling. He's 12. And no stinker. But they're finally going back to school tomorrow. After, oh my goodness, how many days? Let's see, he had Friday off. And all week. I'll lean my arms up here. Done, guys. Hold my fingers there so it stays straight. That one's pretty. All right, I like it. That's it. Now, like I said, if that canvas would have been thick, it would not have showed up the colors, especially this one here. How we barely seen it. And it was very light, actually. And I could do it again, but I'm not. I like it that way. So I'll go ahead and turn it around for you. You can take a good look. Let me clear my Bible thing popped up. See how 
I put little handles on mine. I staple on them. Pieces of wood, but there it is. And you can do this with creative colors, purple, pink, on white. Do black background with uh, white flowers. You know, do a purple background with white flowers. And that's what I did. I was going to use these purples, this pinks and stuff. You know, I still could pull some in there and stuff. But that's all for today. Just wanted to show you all how to do it and how pretty they look. I think they look prettier than the string. You get more leaf detail. And I think this one's just really pretty. Especially black and white. A lot of people like that decorating their homes black and white. So it's a good color to make one with. Alright, thank you for watching you guys. Have fun.